and it would be right there. Well, no, 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 because again, this is the reality that manifested. If she came from a different reality, then she would remember it from her own timeline. You're looking at it from your timeline, the timeline that we're existing in right now. Oh, if we went no. back and stop trying to break my brain. The video, if we looked at the video, it's going to be whatever the video is. But if I jump from another quantum reality, then I'm going to experience something completely different. That's, but that, that's but, the narrative. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. you're back. Uh, I oh, was okay. just, I was just saying, Rose, help me to understand. Uh, how this is a conspiracy theory, if you're able to go back and look at the original uh, media that it was you know, shown at and, and see which one of those two things that it was. Right. I don't think it is a conspiracy theory. Um, theory. Steve said that. I think it's a memory, um, something that you either you remember or you don't. I don't think there's a right or wrong in this. But there's something going on that people remember two different things. Okay. So, what do you think? I don't is, think it's a conspiracy, though. What would you say is going on? Well, I mean, there's um, different people have looked into it. Now, there's a lot of um, Mandela effects that surround Sally Field, and a lot actually her her name is involved in a Mandela effect. People remember Sally Fields. Now it's not it's Sally Field, and her brother works at CERN. Uh-huh. And there's also her speech that she did when she got the Academy Award. She says, you love me. You really love me right now, which is changed to you like me. You really like me now, which a lot of people don't remember that. Now, it's also in a lot of cartoons in the mask. He, he gets so worried. He says, you love me. You really love me. So he's mocking her um, speech. Right. It's in the Looney Tunes when they get the award and they're saying, you love me. You really love me. So a lot of there's a lot of residue saying that it was this way now that and also she's another one that has a mandela effect because her brother works at cern so this is how it all ties in uh-huh. with uh forrest gump where forrest gump said mama always said life was like a box of chocolate right. now in the movie he says mama always said life was like a box of chocolate not life is like a box of chocolate because how life what how would life was it doesn't make sense he's a mother in that uh, okay so, so- let me let me just see if I, I follow along because I want to um, I want to see if I'm if I'm getting it. What would be okay. the like motivation or the reasoning for changing one word like was to is? What would that do to us? Or you know how would that in any way be an advantageous thing for somebody to be behind? Okay, well. There's different theories out there. I'll give you my own personal theory. Now, it doesn't mean it's true. Um, I would say changing little words, maybe they didn't think we would catch up on, on that. And if you can change little words, then you can change bigger things. Okay. Seeing if you can. Seeing if you're able to do that. I think that's brilliant. Um, somebody if you uh, can do that. Pragmatic Culture, thanks for the super chat. He says, uh, ask about the Bernstein Bear versus Bernstein Bear universe. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I was going to – it's not the universe. It's the same thing. It's a Mandela effect where um, Bernstein – people don't remember it as being Bernstein as it is now. It used to be Bernstein Bears, and there's a lot of you know residue of, of what revolving around that as well. You know, People had the books from their childhood. They remember clearly it EI, not AI. So – I'm, I, just little, well, they remember, little things like that. It. It's, not, it's not a whole word. It could be a letter in the word, just like what he So instead of up. being S T E I N, it's a now is S T A I N. It's Bernstein, not Bernstein, right? Yeah, now. But a lot of people remember yeah. it clearly as Steen. When yeah. uh, I, I give us some more examples right. because I want to see if I can if I can find okay. one that I that I know and see where I okay. give the start land on that. Give the start. Okay. Give the start no, one. no, I got one. Alice in Wonderland. In Alice in Wonderland, Tweedledee okay. and Tweedledum, mm-hmm. do they have propellers, flags, or nothing on the top of their hats? Oh, uh, propellers. Yeah, I remember propellers too. Okay, well now it's flags. Really? Because I remember. So the there colors. you go. No, <laughs> yeah, you do. That's what I'm saying. It's straight. And there's actually people who have tattoos, and the tattoos of Tweedledee and Tweedledum have propellers. There's Halloween costumes. They all have propellers. But in the movie, it's flags. So there, you just found one right there. Flags. See, it's just like that. Okay, so it's flags. Look it up. 
Okay, yeah. so so Steve, yeah. let me let me ask Steve since Steve um, as someone that uh, I this is new to like the Mandela effect is is sort of new to me. I'm just getting in like in, in the middle of it tonight, really deeply. But Steve, you've dealt with it um, quite on quite a few occasions. What is your explanation for why we think that sure. propellers? exist you know existed when they clearly didn't if it's flags well they did exist okay there's there's a couple things that goes on one there are costumes with propellers on them i'm looking at right right now and she said there were tattoos there are people that have and i don't remember the movie right what i'm remembering is what i've seen for the costumes of tweedle d and tweedle dumb and that's why i'm associating with propellers i don't remember the movie where i could even say it was from the movie right i'm associating what i do know with what i i'm i I'm asked about, right? The same thing with any of these things. We, we tend to associate what we, 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 we've seen before. Matter of fact, there has been instances like the one with an um, uh, interview with a vampire, right? It's an v- interview with the vampire, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. But it overseas, yeah, I read the book. There was, the overseas, there was editions read- put out called Interview with a Vampire, right? So there was, it was both. Where? I've but never in, seen that. Yeah, there was there. If you look into it, there was actually things put out with a vampire. Although the movie title was with the vampire, so that then that's one of the cases where there was something printed with a vampire that people might have seen. Just like I'm looking at a costume of Tweedledee and Tweedledum with propellers, because that's how I do remember it, even though I don't remember the movie. So this is all about the fact well, that I we have remember. very shitty but the people. That, but just because you don't remember the movie doesn't mean other people don't. And I clearly remember the movie, and I remember the propellers in the movie. So you can't speak for on that for everybody. Oh yeah, no, no, that's you. Yeah, that's no, you. The same for myself. So, myself. so, so, so let's let's t- let's go here. If if um, if they went in and altered something, or is that what you're saying that they 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 released a version of Alice in Wonderland with propellers on the the hats, and then went back and no, I don't think that's what you're saying. Okay, no, so. because I actually bought the VHS on Snow White. I bought uh-huh. the VHS on Star Wars. These are these are from the original copies with Lion King and the commercial before it was even um, put out, saying coming this summer. Okay, so that is not a new edition VHS. Okay, right. it's not a DVD. Okay, so this is an old school VHS and a VCR that I played the movie. Okay, and it says Magic Mirror on the wall in Snow White. Everyone, almost everybody remembers Mirror Mirror on the wall, not Magic Mirror on the wall. And in the movie, it says Magic Mirror. So I also have a trinket from, made from Walt Disney, and inside the trinket, now this was this what, trinket was from years ago, over twenty years ago, from my grandma. In it says Mirror Mirror. Okay, so uh, I, I guess let, let me let me see. If, I, I just want to make sure that I have this right. Okay, so if if we all remember, let's go back to the Tweedledee Tweedledum, and then we'll we'll tackle the mirror mirror on the wall because I remember mirror mirror on the wall too. But if, it was the, both. Well, okay. let's go. Let's start with the. Let's keep with the propellers just for a second. <laughs> let's just keep with the propellers okay. for a second. If it was a if it was propellers in the original or the first thing that we saw or what we are remembering. That means that there has to be another – like now if you watch it, you say they have flags on their head. So how did it go yes. from – how did it go from propellers to flags, and where is the copies where – that we saw with the propellers on their head? That doesn't exist in this reality. I don't know how to explain it. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I'm baffled by it too. But in the original we, movie, we, it was propeller. Now it's flags. You re- now it's flags. You related – you related to CERN, though. So how does CERN play? Yeah. Into it? And by the way, the, the Mirror Mirror, the original one was from the Grimm's. The original one was from Grimm's Brothers. The Grimm Brothers went, wrote the story. It was Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Mm-hmm. Disney's adaptation was Magic yeah, Mirror, but the original Grimm story was Magic. No, no. Was, was Mirror Mirror on the Wall? Hmm. No. Yeah, Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Was was Mir- on the wall. Go ahead, Rose. That was so the original was Grimm's version. Yeah. No, I'm telling yeah. you, in Walt Disney, Mirror Mirror on the Wall was in Snow White. Right. My grandma went to the original, scene in the Grimm, theater. The original story was by the brothers Grimm, who wrote a bunch of yeah, stories. Yeah, I know that. A bunch of, uh, the original story was Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. Who's the, who, in the, who in this land is fairest of all? That was the original uh-huh. quote from that story. Yeah, but I'm not talking that's, about that. I'm talking about Mirror, Mirror on the Wall right. and Snow White so what in the movie. Conflate them. But people no, conflate them. No, because I don't even know about the Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. That's not true. I never even heard about the Grimm Brothers uh, book before. 
No, it was in right. the movie. I'm right. telling you, dude. You can't tell me my own memory. She said, you, you can't you do that. You have the movie, right? You said you have the movie, right? Yeah. The movie. Yes, I do. Is... And I shared it on my YouTube channel. So she's got it. Yeah. She says. No, I, I, I know. The movie... I the movie does not say Mirror Mirror. The movie says Magic Mirror. Mirror Mirror comes from something else, which people have conflated with the movie, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but Steve, she's saying that she has the copy of the, the original VHS that has Mirror Mirror on the wall. Oh, do you? No, no, it says Magic No, 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 I didn't say that. Oh, okay. I'm saying... Okay, because I, I mean... The VHS I, says... Mirror. Okay, Steve. Okay, I understand you want to sound smart and everything. That's good. But I'm telling you, people, thousands and thousands, tens and – you well, you are, but not on this. Ten th thousands <laughs> of people, lots of people, remember the movie in Snow White, not Grimm's Brothers, okay, in the movie, mm -hmm. saying Mirror, Mirror. It's okay. not a confusion. That's okay. what they remember. All right, okay? so uh, we just got a super chat okay. from uh, from Caroline Clark. Thank you for $10. She, she asked, does Rose believe – that ink and paper publications can be altered. So do you have any examples of uh, things we would have read instead of seen or heard? Do you have any like uh, text examples of things that were changed? I haven't, but I'm sure there's people that have done their research and have found that. I will look that up if I were her. That's interesting well, to know. I just That's personally writing, haven't. Isn't? I personally haven't. Yeah, well, yeah. That's, yeah. Writing. Okay. But it was, it, it was books and then turned into a cartoon. But yeah, it was first book. So yeah, that would be I would do, one. Do, do, do the Sky War, Star Wars one. Ask about that. Well, there's there's two in Star Wars. Let me start with one you probably don't know, um, or maybe you do. Okay, a CPO um, three a C C three PO is he all gold? No, yes. he had like a no. I thought he had like a silver was it leg or arm or something? Something was silver or something on him. You don't remember? I think he was. I think he was okay, all well, gold. I remember. I remember. What was it? I remember him I being I... gold. Okay, and now he has a silver leg. He was silver leg, gold. yeah, that's what I thought. My brother, yeah, my brother had the figurines. rings. They were all gold. Now he has a silver leg. I wonder if, uh, let, let's say for me, uh, I I've seen Star Wars like one or two times. It's not something that I'm really you know big into. I wonder if it's that. Okay. Um, I, I just saw saw the movie, didn't take that much interest in it, and since the majority <gasps> of him was gold, it just automatically uh, feels in that he's all gold without that specific detail. Well, if that's your, that's your memory, then that's fine, but there's a lot of um, Star Wars um, geeks out there that remember him being all gold, and they've seen it hundreds of times, and they go to the conventions and everything, and they said he was all gold. So how do you okay. explain that then? I, that's what, that's why we have you here to uh, help us. Yeah, understand that. So what's I'm the relationship with CERN? It, I, I'm still curious. What's the relationship? With, I already with told you. Honestly, well, we don't believe that they when it comes to change anything. Well, you you can think whatever you want. So what is just CERN? because you don't think that, that's not true? Uh, huh? Tell tell everybody who might be watching what CERN actually is. Um, let's say let's let's go oh, into okay. it. Okay. And then what they would gain out of doing something like this. So first of all, what is CERN? CERN is the largest hydron collider in the world. It's underground in Switzerland. They have different sections. One of them is Alice, um, Alice in the Looking Glass, so a reference to Alice in Wonderland, mm -hmm. um, peeping into things, peering and make changing realities. So that's what Alice in Wonderland is. So why call part of Alice in the Looking Glass? Anyways. Um, then there's other sections, and what they're doing is they're smashing particles, and what they call God particles, and and looking into um, um, dark matter, and exploring pretty much like if you if you were to get a building and you start looking at the paint, I don't know how to explain it. It's like uh, it's trying to figure out the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So going that's, that's through good. all the different good. particles. Yeah, she's okay. right. I mean, that's a pretty good um, explanation. Uh, okay, so so how does the, how would that tie into what they're doing as far as the Mandela effect? Like, what would they be gaining by making us remember well, or disremember little things such uh, as the color of? Skin they're not. Like? I I don't think that that's not their motive. Their motive is not to have us think anything. I think they're just messing with stuff, and it, we're seeing the bleed through effect of it. I don't think this so is purposely accident. done. Yeah. To I, it could be accidental, but I really don't think it's 
it's a personal thing towards us, right? Oh, I'm going to make them forget.